Ants and flowers share a fascinating and intricate relationship that has evolved over millions of years. This relationship can be described as a mutualistic interaction, where both parties benefit from their association. The surprising connection between ants and flowers encompasses various aspects, including pollination, seed dispersal, and defense mechanisms. Let's explore these in detail in this video. But before this, if you are new to this channel, then subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Let's back to the video. Pollination. Pollination is a crucial process in plant reproduction, where pollen from the male part of a flower, anther, is transferred to the female part, stigma, to fertilize the ovules. While insects like bees and butterflies are well known pollinators, Ants also play a significant role in this process. Certain plants have co-evolved with ants and have developed unique adaptations to attract them. Flowers pollinated by ants often possess specific characteristics. They tend to be small, inconspicuous, and produce less nectar compared to flowers attracting other insects. These flowers often have extra floral nectaries, nectar-producing glands, located on other parts of the plant such as stems or leaves, which provide ants with a readily available food source. The nectar acts as a reward, attracting ants to visit the flowers repeatedly. During their visits, ants inadvertently transfer pollen from one flower to another, aiding in cross-pollination. However, ants are generally less efficient pollinators than bees due to their small size and limited flight range. Nevertheless, in certain ecosystems where other pollinators are scarce, ants can be essential for plant reproduction. Seed dispersal. Ants also contribute to the dispersal of seeds, a process known as myrmecochory. Some plant species have evolved adaptations to entice ants into carrying their seeds away and depositing them in favorable locations for germination. This symbiotic relationship benefits both the plants and the ants. Seeds involved in myrmecochory often have specialized structures called eliasomes. Eliasomes are lipid-rich appendages attached to the seeds that ants find highly nutritious. When ants discover seeds with eliasomes, they carry them back to their nests. They consume the eliasomes, but they do not eat the actual seeds. Instead, they discard them in nutrient-rich ant mounds or underground chambers providing a suitable environment for germination and seedling growth. By using ants as seed dispersers, plants increase their chances of colonizing new areas, escaping competition with parent plants, and finding favorable conditions for growth. Meanwhile, ants benefit from the food provided by the eliasomes. Defense mechanisms. Ants play a critical role in protecting flowers and their reproductive structures from herbivores and other intruders. Some plant species have evolved intricate defense mechanisms to attract and maintain ant colonies as a means of protection. Flowers may produce chemical compounds or scents that specifically attract ants. These compounds act as a deterrent to other herbivores, as ants aggressively defend their territory. The ants patrol the flowers and remove or attack potential threats such as insects or larger herbivores that attempt to feed on the floral resources. In return for protection, the flowers may provide additional rewards, such as nectar or shelter, to maintain the presence of ant colonies. This mutualistic relationship benefits both the plants, which gain protection, and the ants, which receive sustenance and suitable habitat. In conclusion, the connection between ants and flowers is a remarkable example of mutualistic symbiosis in the natural world. Through their role in pollination, seed dispersal, and defense mechanisms, ants contribute significantly to the survival and reproductive success of certain plant species. This intricate relationship highlights the complex and interconnected web of interactions that exist in ecosystems, where even the smallest organisms can have a surprising impact. I hope so now you will understand about connection of ants and flowers. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button. And subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.